So uh, I've talked about eSpeak in the past, and I've shown you it. If you type in, well, you have to install it first, but you type in eSpeak, and then you type in something you want to say, like this is a test. And I don't know if you can hear that in the recording because my speakers are a little low, but uh, it said that uh, it said this is a test in a very computer synthesized voice, which is what it is. Um, and eSpeak is great, and it has different voices, but all of them are very um, synthesized sounding and and can be hard to understand. And although I love it, and I always uh, endorse open source I was trying to think of how can I get a better sound uh, sounding text to speech synthesizer going that doesn't cost me any money that I can run in Linux and I thought well you know I know that Google has their Google translator and when you translate something this is a test it gives you the option to listen to what you type this is a test <laughs> and that one said it in kind of a spanish voice this is a test and there we go now uh it, that is definitely i think clearer than eSpeak. uh two problems though uh one it's a woman and and i may not want a woman i want the option to choose a voice and two, there's no download option, and although I can try to use something like Firebug or something to see where the wave is coming from, I decided to do a little bit of Googling and see what I can come up with, maybe something a little bit easier before I start pulling apart this website. And I came across this AT&T Labs Natural Voice. And uh, the Natural Voice website just has a little demo here. You can type anything in here, and I can say, this is a test. And you have a list of options here uh, as far as voices go, a bunch of US ones. Uh, and I like this rich one here. And uh, I can download it or I can click speak. And uh, I'm using Google Chrome here. It tries to open up in a player. It doesn't play, but it does give me basically a wave address here. And I can go to my terminal here and I can just type in mplayer and put in the address of the wave and this was a test and it's a very natural sounding voice uh, and that is great that I can do that but now let's put it all into a script so I don't have to go to the website so I'm going to use Vim as my text editor and I'm just going to call it myspeak.sh I am going to start off with our bin bash up here so telling that our computer that this is a bash script and we're going to start off we're going to create a variable we'll call it voice and this will be our voice that we're choosing as I said I like rich and we're going to go back to the web page here and we're going to go view source page or view page source a little dyslexic there huh okay here we go so if we scroll down till we find the form which is right here we right away we see it's a post so we're going to have to post information and we're going to post it to this uh, site here looking at the site where is it there we go there's three things we need to do we need to choose a voice put some text in and choose speaker download so let's look at where those are in the code so we have our drop down list here for uh, the voice that we want to choose. Its name is voice. And we have our options here. And we can see that the value for rich is just rich with a lowercase r. So that's what we're creating when I do the script here. I'm creating a variable called voice. And we are going to use um, curl to grab the information. So what I'm going to do actually, before we actually finish writing the script, I'm just going to do it as a one-liner out here. I'm going to use curl, and I'm going to say dash dash data, because we're filling out a form, and this is going to be the data. And inside parentheses, I'm going to put the uh, values and variables that I need. So I need to create a variable where I'm sending to a, a variable. And this one, as I said, is the name is voice, and we want it to equal rich. 
So what I'll do is I'll type here voice equals rich. We are going to go end, symbolizing that there is going to be another variable. Next thing that we need to do is we need to find out where we put our text in, which is right here, and it's called txt. So we'll say txt equals, and I'll say just this is a test. And then I'll put the end symbol again. And our submit button, we have two of them here. We're just going to do uh, the speak button because we just want the link to the uh, to the wave file. Uh, the name of it is speak button with a capital B. We'll paste that in there and we'll say that it equals and we want it to equal speak all capital. And next we just need to after that put in the link that we're uh, the address that we're submitting to. So there it is right there. It's inside the form header, the action. And we'll put this inside quotations. And if I hit enter, you can see right here, it gave me the HTML, HTML output that that form gives me. I really don't care about any of it except for this information right here. So let's grep that out. I'm going to uh, let's see, how do I want to do this? I'll just grep dot wave. So it will look through the lines and choose only lines that have dot wave in it, which is going to be our wave file here. Next, we want to cut away the excess uh, information. So we're going to use cut with a delimiter of, let's go the quotation mark. And you can see here that our first quotation mark is right here. We want everything after it. So this is field two. We're going to do dash F2. If we hit enter, there we go. We have our address, everything except for the beginning uh, part, um, which is going to be the IP address, which we are have right here. So let's put all this inside parentheses and start it with a dollar sign. So basically that's just going to output that information and we're going to say echo and I'm going to go http colon forward slash forward slash 192.20.225.36 and let's hit enter and see what we get. There we go. We have the link to the wave file. Now if instead of saying echo we say M player. This was a test. Basically, it submits our sentence, which we have right here, and then plays the wave output. So let's just copy and paste this line into the script we started right here. Now, Instead of rich here in the line, I am going to change this to dollar sign voice, which is the variable we set up here. This will make it easier for people to change the voice if they want to choose a different voice. And we'll go through the list of voices here in a minute. Next, where we put our sentence, instead of putting our sentence, we're going to do dollar sign asterisk. And that's basically going to say any argument that we put in after the name of our script, and I'll show you what that means. So we're going to save this, make it executable, uh, myspeak.sh. Now we just run it, myspeak.sh, and we type whatever we want after it. This is my test of my script. And we hit enter. This is my test of my script. So there you heard it downloaded. It basically submitted this information and it streamed. It didn't really download because we're using mPlayer. It streamed the WAV file that it created. Um, let's go back to the website here. And you can see, as I said, we got a bunch of different speeches here. Now we could write into the script where you can choose an option. I'm just going to put this list in here so that someone can edit the script just to keep this tutorial short. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the address. Let's go to the page here, the address of this website. And I'm going to use links, which I've talked about in the past. 
we are going to do dash dash source and the link of the site. And basically it outputted the information, the HTML code of the page. Here's the information we want. We can see the voice is a class of mono. So let's quickly just grep mono. Okay, we got everything we need except for um, we have this one line here that we don't need. Now a lot of people are gonna line up, uh, get mad at me and make comments on this, but I'm just gonna grep again. Technically uh, I could um, use said or maybe even use grep a different way so I don't have to run grep twice, but I really don't care. I just wanna get this done. If you think you can do it better, I'm gonna post this in the forum. It's actually already posted in the forum. Go ahead and submit your changes. So I'm going to grep lines with um, a, what am I saying, uh, value. Spell it right, that's kind of important. And now I'm going to, once again, cut. Oh, you know what, this isn't even gonna be part of the code. <laughs> this is just something I'm doing to add to the code. You'll see in a minute. Uh, cut with a delimiter of quotation mark, and we have field one, field two, field three, and we're looking at field four here. So dash F four, and we have a list of all the names. Let's put them all on one line. We're just gonna say TR backslash N, that means new line, and we're gonna convert all the new lines to a semicolon. There we go, we have a nice little list of all the names, and we're just gonna put that as a comment in our code so that someone can edit the script and they'll see. We'll say voice options and we'll comment this line. And that way they can come in here and change that if they don't want Rich, they have a list, they can just go Lauren and paste that in there. Once again, we can make the script more complicated if we wanted. So here we go, we have our script. It's pretty much working. One thing I'm going to add down here, I'm gonna leave it commented out is I'm going to go wget and basically put this same information right here and we'll put a little comment to download wave uncomment the next line. So basically the script's just going to stream the synthesized voice where here if you uncomment this it will download it to your current directory so you can have a, a saved wave file of this so we will save that and once again we'll run it please visit films by chris.com Wonder if I, should, I wonder how it's gonna translate the dot or if I should spell out dot. Let's just do that. Please visit films by Chris.com. There we go. So that is another way to, that's why it sounded a little funny. I had an extra letter in there. Uh, to uh, grab a synthesized voice that might sound a little bit better than, than eSpeak. Not that eSpeak's a bad program. I absolutely love it. Um, once again, we're, we're interacting with a website here. It's a demo website. Uh, I'm sure if I actually read this restrictions here, I probably shouldn't be even doing this. <laughs> but um, actually, no, I read through it. It says that this is basically for non-commercial use, private use. But um, if they ever change the website, this may stop working. So I just wanted to uh, show you guys an option that you can do to quickly get a better sounding text to voice option. Once again, if you go to the forums under scripts, uh, shell scripts and bash scripts, I have this, I call it better voice than you speak is the title. Uh, you can also search up here to get to it, but I have the copy of my script here. And if you would like, you can go and check it out and maybe make some changes if you think you can do it better or you have another website that maybe um, do may do better voices. So anyway, I thank you for watching.
please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. Visit our forums, filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. Uh, the links for both those will be in the description. And I hope that you have fun with this and have a great day. Thanks for watching.